So a parcel just came through and I wanted to open it up together because I've either picked up an absolute bargain or I've been scammed, I'm not entirely sure. So I found this listing for a Wii U with a bunch of games on eBay. There wasn't much time left on it and it was still going pretty cheap. So I thought I'd put an offer in and, and I won it. And it was, uh, yeah, an absolute bargain, especially for how much some of this stuff goes uh, on CEX. And it wasn't until after I won the bid that I realized I made a crucial mistake. Uh, one that I don't know how I forgot because it's, it's rule 101 when shopping on eBay. Check the seller's rating. Right? We all know this. It's, it's nothing new. We, we know we should do this. I'm an absolute idiot for not doing it first. And the thing is that this, this seller's actually got a really good rating most of the time. Other than one that's been left recently for this very item I purchased. So you can imagine that uh, when I saw this, I went from excitement to, uh, yeah, feeling like, like this was going to go wrong. No! No, God, please, no, no, no. So I've got the package. Let's open it up. Let's test it out. And let's see uh, if what I got is actually any good or yeah, if it's a lot of rubbish. So first things first, what we've got is a uh, package within a package. I was hoping for a box, no such luck. Oh, there is a box inside as well, it seems. Let's have a look. Woo! So that's how it's come packaged. Um, and I guess we start taking stuff out and seeing uh, Seeing if everything's here and then seeing if things work. So there's a couple of things we're looking out for. One being the wrong disc in a case. Um, we'll see if that actually happened. And this is one of the games I was uh, the most interested in because it is worth quite a bit. Paper Mario Color Splash. And it seems to be in pretty good condition. That's a win for the time being. And we've got just dance. Jane likes these games. Uh, we generally have some fun with them together. I'm not sure if we'll keep all of these or trade some of them in. Marion Sonic Winter Olympics. We've actually got a copy of this we picked up in a car boot. I'll be doing a video about that soon. So again, this is a trade-in and it looks to be in fairly good condition as well. Just dance four. Surprisingly, these gains are still worth quite a bit, more than the Wii U version for some reason. And yeah, it's got the manual, games, correct, game, game looks intact, to be fair, I'll show you that. The game looks pristine. So, so far, so good. Stance 2 again in good condition with the manual. Yeah, not bad so far. I did have a feeling that it could just be that the person they sold it to didn't know what they were doing or wasn't tech savvy. I don't, I don't know. We'll get to it when we actually test the console. I guess that's when we'll know. Um, Dance on Broadway, surprisingly, not worth very much at all. Uh, we Fit Plus, I'm not even like, I mean, if that's the wrong disc, I'm not bothered at all. I'm guessing if there is one with the wrong disc in it, they put it at the bottom. That's what I'm guessing. Be just Dance 3. And I'm hoping it's not the other one I was interested in. Although I can already tell, I think, that there's a game. Oh no. I've ordered some other games as well. They haven't shipped yet. Uh, that's just Dance 3, by the way. Again, worth a bit. CDs. The disc wasn't in a great nick with this one. I'm guessing it got a fair amount of use. Um, again, that could be one of the things that's up. It could be that the person tried this with a disc that wasn't working. So we'll see. This is one of the ones I'm hoping has got the right disc in it because I wanted to play it. And it does. We use Super Mario 3D World. 
So, I mean, unless this, there's one game left, unless that's the one that's got the wrong disc in it, then the last person was either talking rubbish or the person fixed it, realized it was an honest mistake and fixed it. So, so far, the person who left the review was talking absolute nonsense. I have noticed one thing, which is that the review mentioned a parental lock. If that's the problem with it, we might be able to get around it. Um, but the person said they, they had those details. Now, what I'm hoping is the person's just gone through and factory reset it, because that would make the most sense to me if they've had that review and they don't want another one. But we'll see. Okay. Could use a good clean. Like, it's pretty filthy, in fact. I want to get some alcohol wipe on that. Ideally, I want to have the black one, which is weird because this one's actually worth more. But yeah, it needs a really good clean. Okay, and then there's the actual console, which didn't come wrapped or anything. I wish it had. It looks fine. It looks really good, but we won't know. We won't know until we try it. The rest of it's just the sensor and the leads, the power leads. There's no Wii remotes or anything for the game, so I wanted to get those separately, but um, that's okay. I'm keeping an eye on a couple of auctions. So what I'll do is I'll go, uh, I'll go test it out. I'll see if everything works and I'll come back and, uh, and let you know either way. Hopefully we've got some good news. A few moments later. Okay, so a bit of an update. We have got the Wii on. It's got a blue light. And it seems like it's been factory reset, which would be great news. Okay, I'm gonna go through and um, yeah, do all this stuff. So yeah, I'll go through, do all that stuff and let you know how I get on. But so far, it's looking really good. Um, fingers crossed. Cross my fingers for me. So we seem to be all good. As you can see, everything has worked so far. So that is two things the review said that were wrong. One, there wasn't a wrong disc in any of the cases. And two, it was factory reset. There was no parental control lock on it, which I'm guessing if, I mean, if it was me and what the seller said was true, I'd just factory reset so that problem doesn't happen again. So there's one thing left to test and you could say it's the most important thing, right? It's if, if the games actually work. So let's take a game. I'll take a game I'm actually excited to try out. Let's take this and let's see if it, uh, let's see if it works, right? Could do a bit of a clean, but nothing that should stop it reading the game. No, I don't know. Oh, you can see it there. So far, so good. That seems to be working. Um, I guess all we can do is test some more games out, see if they work too. Um, and I'll get back to you after we play for a little bit. It might be tomorrow now. I've got to go pick Jane up from the station and all that kind of stuff. But uh, we're excited to get into playing some of these games. I'll get some Wii controllers, do all that good stuff. And yeah, we'll catch up on the video uh, in a little bit. <laughs> okay, so good news. It wasn't a scam. Yay. Bad news, it's not the day after. It's It's been a couple of weeks since I recorded uh, the start of this video, mainly because 
we had a bunch of stuff in storage that we needed to sort out. And when it all got to the house, it was uh, it was chaos, unpacking boxes and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, the Wii U works really, really well. We've been playing it quite a bit and having a really good time on it. And I've picked up some more games that I'm going to show you. We've also picked up a bunch of Wii games and a Wii controller. I mentioned that it didn't come with one. But I'll save that for another video because otherwise this would become a really long video. There's quite a few Wii games we've picked up, both from CEX, car boot sales, charity shops, that kind of thing. But I'll show you what I've got recently for the Wii U because there's not as many of those. Uh, and I picked these up for my birthday recently uh, from CEX. So I'll let you know how much I got them for too. So first off, I picked up Nintendo Land, nice and cheap one. It was only four pounds from CEX, but it's a really fun game for me and Jane to play together. It's got a bunch of mini games that are, I'd say are a bit bigger than mini games generally. They've got quite a few levels to them and they're basically mini games from loads of Nintendo's best franchises, including The Legend of Zelda, Luigi's Mansion, Yoshi, Super Mario, and, and a bunch more. So we've been really enjoying that. And it's one that we're looking forward to playing more of. Up next is The Wonderful 101, a game that I haven't played much other than to get the, the screen grabs you'll see on screen. But it is a game that I've heard really good things about and have wanted to try it for quite a while. I was going to get it for, for the Switch. But as I've got a Wii U, I thought I'd, I'd pick it up. And it's one of the games that everyone mentions you should own if you have a Wii U. So really excited to play more of that. We've also got Yoshi's Woolly World, mainly because it just looks absolutely adorable and really good fun. So that's one that Jane and me are probably going to play all the way through together and are really looking forward to. And the last game I've picked up for the Wii U is Pikmin 3, a game that we've been having such a good time playing through and has really made us want to go back and play 1 and 2, which we hadn't, and also afterwards play 4 on the Switch, which we've only played the demo of. So excited to, to play that a lot more. It's an absolutely phenomenal game that incorporates a bunch of different elements we, we really like. So if you haven't played the Pitman games, uh, I definitely recommend it. When it came out, I was younger and at that stage of just thinking it was a game uh, that was a bit too young for me. And I'm absolutely gutted I missed out on it. I'm glad that we've rediscovered it now and have a bunch of games to go and, and look back at. So yeah, those are the four games we've picked up recently for the Wii U. To add to the two that came with the console that I got, uh, and I am really glad that it wasn't a scam. I've left a nice review for the seller, got it for an absolute bargain in the end. So yeah, it's a console that we're definitely going to be playing a lot. And I'd love to know what games you think I should pick up for it, because I'll be honest, there isn't as many as I thought. I knew there wasn't that many games for it. I know the, the history of the Wii U, but it's really surprising going into a lot of the, the local CEX and seeing that they haven't got much stock of, of Wii U games or Wii controllers for that matter. But that's a, a whole separate story for for another video. And that's it, that's the Wii U collection started. Let me know if you've played any of the games I've got so far, if there's any that I, I absolutely need to add to the collection, uh, and I'll catch you next time.